Austin police believe the body that was found is that of Paul Patterson, who disappeared from a memory care facility on November 6th, 10 days ago. Investigators say that body was found off Mopac in North Austin, just north of Palmer Lane. Ford Sanders is live in downtown Austin outside Austin Police Headquarters. Ford, what did investigators say earlier this afternoon? Yeah, Quita Brian, like you said, it's a tragic update in the case of 76 year old Paul Patterson. Now, APD was out earlier today and they discovered that body that they believe to belong to Patterson. As mentioned, it was at the 12600 block of North Mopac Expressway headed southbound. He went missing Sunday, November 6. It's now been about 10 days, as mentioned, since he was last seen his memory care facility he was staying at. That's the Colonial Gardens memory facility in North Austin. Police confirmed that it was around seven hours before they were even alerted by the care facility that Mr. Patterson had been missing, saying that they were conducting an outside search themselves and then they were contacted. APD says each day after he was missing, they began searching and teaming up with other agencies. His daughter, Laurel Patterson, also putting search crews together, searching north and south all over Austin. Today, APD says a citizen who had been searching the area for multiple days looking for the 76 year old called saying he found a body. APD's assistant chief says that they believe he was still moving around at the time of their searches. It's our belief that since we had searched that area, that um, him being found within feet of where we had already searched just confirms the fact that he was mobile and he had come back to the location he was familiar with. Now we spoke with Laurel last week. She's been pleading to the Austin community, surrounding communities to help her find her father. One important detail here, she told me last week that she believes her father is still in New Mexico where he's from. And that lines up with what detectives say on November 15th, they had received information that he was possibly on his way to New Mexico. She says in his moments of clarity, he might have understood where he was, but he had overall believed that he was still back home. Now it's important to note that APD officials tell us today that this is, they believe that this is his body. They there's still a pending investigation. They're also waiting on those autopsy results from the Travis County Medical Examiner's Office. They're going to wait for those IDs, hoping that will come in around tonight or tomorrow. Quita, Brian. A heartbreaking update to the story. Our Ford Sanders live downtown at APD headquarters tonight. Thank you, Ford.